Beautiful Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading for the new moon. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details and I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, this is a little bonus reading for the new moon. It occurs on the 23rd or 24th of November, depending on where you are, and it's in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, this is a very positive new moon as it brings uh, benevolent energy and it coincides with Jupiter going direct, okay? So Jupiter, of course, is the planet of expansion, good fortune, and better energy. So if you've been feeling a little bit like luck has not been flowing in the way that you've been hoping, or you've been feeling stuck in a rut, this moon cycle will actually help you with that. Now, being in the sign of Sagittarius, also you may be influenced to broaden your horizons, push your boundaries, seek a new adventures or new people in your life. Uh, you may feel like picking up hobbies or putting yourself on a course of learning. You may also think about traveling or making your mark in certain areas uh, of your career, trying to uh, step up your game. Um, if you've been having a bit of a turbulent time, uh, this is a time to actually settle down in that energy and align with a calmer sort of influence of energy in order to feel a little bit more peaceful, a little bit more energized. And if you've been hurt in the past by anything, then this is a perfect time uh, to connect to source uh, because we do have a wonderful alignment between Mercury, Venus and Chiron, which brings healing, okay, and a connection to your deeper self. Also, remember, Uranus is still active during this month, so there can still be some sudden changes, sudden U-turns, uh, profound difficulties, for example, and, you know, world events. Uh, you may find that suddenly things change or uh, people do not deliver on their promises. Um, but, of course, um, we do have Jupiter uh, going direct, so it is actually... Um, going to work out better in the end. So it may be a little bit bumpy ride before we get to that better energy, but uh, we do have a lot easier energy uh, influencing us at the end of the month. Now, I'm just going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. For you in particular, my beautiful Scorpio, your second house of value is activated. You'll be influenced by that. So this is how you value yourself, how you value your time, your effort, your energy, uh, your private space, um, also, it will connect to uh, cash, property, and possessions. So you may be taking stock during this month um, of any uh, you know possessions that you have or things that you've worked hard for, savings. You may be in a bit of a protective mode as you're looking at those areas and really evaluating how you can move on to uh, attract more or better for the effort that you put into your situation. Uh, they wanted one more. Okay. Oh, it's bizarre. <laughs> they wanted one more on each line for you. That's unusual. I was only doing three lines. Okay. Um, we're just going to go get the last card. One moment, please. Now, I actually see that your second house is going to influence you very heavily as we move throughout this new moon period um, because you're actually processing a lot of deep emotions and you're closing out cycles. And I know that we as Scorpios, I'm also a Scorpio, we go through cycles of change, but there's definitely some doors that are going to close on this new moon for you and they're going to remain shut forever. And what I mean by that is you're slamming the door shut to situations that have made you feel confused or um, you know, low energy, like energy vampires, things like that. Um, I feel looking at the energy already, 
I feel some of you have been really struggling, okay? Uh, you got the clouds there and the bear. So I feel like you've learned to be strong in this lifetime because you've had a very difficult journey. And um, picking up on your energy so far, um, I get this sort of like, I feel like you're being really honest with yourself and you tend to be really honest with yourself, but I feel you're being brutally honest with yourself over the new moon period and saying, okay, I put a lot of effort into this situation. It's not working for me. How do I either change it, find an alternative way to make it work, or am I going to walk away from it? I see you walking away from things that, have, that you've really, really struggled with that has not been rewarding. And I'm not talking about if you're working really hard towards your career and it's a slow moving energy, but you're still on point to reach your goals. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, uh, you know, you struggling with things that um, you've wrestled with for a while, like um, relationships, perhaps that, you know, they don't treat you in the same way that you treat them. So if you've been, um, you know, giving someone the benefit of the doubt all the time, or you've been giving people second chances, but they still show up in the same energy, I feel like you're really just closing those cycles, okay? That's on a spiritual level. But let's get straight to your cards. The first card here is the clouds. And you may have been feeling a little bit confused about your destiny. You may have been even very confused about the law of attraction because I feel uh, part of you, you may have felt a little bit disconnected. Now, um, the clouds represent, of course, um, the hidden. So you may have felt very withdrawn from um, the world in general. You may have felt a little bit aloof and it's not because you're hiding anything. I feel like you've felt very confused or unclear about your path recently, my beautiful Scorpio. And I feel um, at times some negative or some dark thoughts have popped in there for you. Um, I do actually see a lot more positive energy, but I feel that you've been going through a very deep, intense, self-reflective cycle for the last... I would say a couple of years actually, um, but I feel it's coming to an end in a really positive way. So I feel like things are shifting. I feel like the clouds are actually parting. They're allowing the sun to shine. Um, there's been a lot of doubt. Now this is either doubt about love uh, because we do have the lover's card crossing this. Um, I feel these may be the things that you will be processing over the new moon, you know, and love is all encompassing. We have love for our family, we have love for our friends, we have love for our counterpart. They are all different types of love. But I feel like you're starting to really see where you've put effort into situations that you feel has not been reciprocal. Now, of course, we all have that one friend that we really love and, you know, sometimes they're really negative or sometimes they don't, um, you know, make an effort for us, but we still make an effort for them. I feel like those sort of people I feel like you're taking a step back from those sort of people. I don't feel like you're cutting those people out because I feel you are very fair in your energy. You recognize when someone just does not have the ability at that time to offer anything more than they can give you in that moment. So I feel like you are actually being very mature in that energy. I'm talking about users. I'm talking about energy vampires. I'm talking about toxic situations. I feel like you're really like shutting the door. You're not letting that back in at all, okay? Um, but I feel you have been a little bit confused and or questioning. I'm, I'm getting a lot of questions. Uh, this could be about your path because I feel also is a lot about your goals. The, something that you love or who you've been trying to attract. You feel like it's, I just feel like you've had the weight of the world on your shoulders recently and you're trying to accomplish something or you're trying to attract something, but it's just not showing up for you. And you're wondering what's wrong. What is blocking your abundance? What is blocking your path? Because it just feels like a bit of an uphill struggle at the moment, okay? I definitely see that you're coming um, out the other side. I definitely see that um, you are empowering yourself because you may have even felt that there is... How do I feel? It's like... I don't feel like you're confused about yourself, okay? But I feel like you're... Comp You've been having some major questions about your soul path or your true prosperity path, your true north. And I feel like you've just been either doubting the path or there's some sort of hesitation. I mean, there could be a hesitation in love right now. Or, you know, you, you could be feeling that love is not showing up for you. It doesn't have to be about love. But I just get this energy that you are feeling a little bit uncertain about the path or the way ahead. OK, and you may have been very aloof recently, disconnected from friends, disconnected from, um, you know, people, 
you just go off radar. Now, Scorpio, uh, that is a natural tendency that Scorpios have. As I said, I'm a Scorpio, I understand that need to sort of um, sort of go off grid and then resurface when you are energized. It's not a game. It's not like you're, uh, you know, playing some sort of power game with people. It's a protective energy where you're like, you know what? I need to regroup my energy. I need to recharge my batteries before I can come back. And because you don't tell people, you just sort of like go off grid. Sometimes people are worrying about you, things like that. So that's coming up um, a little bit there. Your guides are giving you this message, which is, Remember, beautiful Scorpio, you don't have to do it all by yourself. Okay, you don't have to do it all by yourself. There are people who actually care, love and appreciate you and want to help. So if you feel like you have the world on your shoulders right now, even if that's at work, even if that's in, you know, you feel a lot of responsibilities in the home space, um, even by telling another um, that you're feeling this heavy energy, it's like a load off. And then I feel like your loved ones or people that you confide in will actually try to lighten the load for you. So there's no not so much pressure. Uh, that's what's coming up there. Now we've got the lover's card crossing the clouds. I feel like this is something that you have battled with uh, throughout your life. Uh, you've battled with the idea of love or uh, you know a sacred kinship with another person because you tend to merge yourself. You tend to lose yourself in love. So it's difficult for you to trust love because you give so much of yourself to it. Now, of course, everybody falls in love at some stage and we give all of ourselves. Every human doesn't matter the sign. We give all of ourselves to that person, the object of our affections. But I feel here with the lover's card, that you've been in a cycle with somebody, okay? And I feel like you're closing out a cycle, one that has played out in your life for a long time. Even if you're not with that person, the memory of that person, the ghost of that person, uh, you know, I feel like it's been in some way influencing the way you operate in love relationships. Even if you're in a loving relationship right now and you would never want to be away from the person that you're with, there's still an experience from your past that may sort of, resurface on this new moon period so that you can really shut the door on it okay um now if you are looking for love i definitely see you calling in a soulmate and i know you know you've got the lover's card here so you're looking for a divine counterpart and we've got the herald of cups here so that is love showing up for you it's like the universe is going to answer your call but at grassroots the lover's card is about you know choices manifestation, law of attraction. So if you feel like you've been putting out all this energy to the universe and saying, you know what, I really want this to show up in my, show up in my world because it would make my heart sing with joy. Um, and if it's not been showing up for you, know that in the near future, because this is the outcome energy, something you've been working towards or manifesting or trying to um, realize on the physical plane to turn that vision into reality you may have felt like it's not working or you are somehow blocked well that's going to become unblocked as we move throughout this new moon energy and jupiter is really going to affect you heavily in terms of abundance okay also the lover's card indicates choice you may have been looking at how you've made difficult choices in your life and sometimes you may actually be processing how you've made the wrong choice in your life. Your guides want you to be aware there's no such thing as failure or a wrong choice. Every decision we make is on purpose to lead us to a lesson and then to spiritual involvement so or evolution rather. So I feel um, it's important as we move throughout this new moon period um, that you will be in an act of forgiveness for yourself, for the actions that you've taken. Now, it's not that you need to forgive yourself for anything, my beautiful Scorpio. What I'm getting is, um, I'm just getting a, a very strong energy of someone or collective Scorpios thinking, oh, remember I, you know, I connected to that person and I gave them all my heart and my soul and I love them and I was such a fool. I should have seen the signs and, you know, if only I could go back in time and change that. Your guides want you to release that energy because you were sent certain people to teach you lessons about trust, about value. Because remember, this period, your second house is all about value. So you're going to look at situations on purpose. Unfortunately, the universe is going to send you these moments, just these sporadic fleeting thoughts where suddenly you remember a time where you forgot your power. Your guides are saying where you forgot your crown. Okay, now that has a very deep 
um, profound meaning in two ways. One is forgot your crown because you should be treating yourself like royalty, not in an ego way, but in a way that sort of adds value to you to know your power, but also the crown chakra. The crown chakra is to know. So you forgot your crown in certain situations in your past. Doesn't mean in love. It can be in a working environment where you sold yourself short or you were undervalued in some way by other people. And it allowed a, a pathway for you to have your confidence chipped away at or you were treated badly. So they're, they're indicating that moments over the new moon period, you're going to remember times where you forgot your value. You forgot your crown. Okay. And, um, you're going to empower yourself moving forward, knowing that that will never happen again. You will actually stand your ground and be successful and attract whatever it is you desire on a healthier plane. OK, I hope that makes sense. Uh, it was very um, intense energy that was coming through there. Now, the lover's card also is about choices, of course. So I feel like you have a lot of options open to you um, where doors shut and they slam shut because I feel like you are slamming that door to the past. You actually, um, it's like cause and effect. You force other doors open. Uh, so there's a lot of possibilities here for you. You've got the world card. Now the world card, of course, is entering a new cycle, rejuvenating yourself, revamping, revitalizing, re-energizing yourself um, towards your next goal or your next accomplishment. The world card indicates you're in the right place at the right time to meet any opportunity or circumstance or meeting that you're meant to have. Because remember, my beautiful Scorpio, uh, what is meant for you will never pass you by. They want you to be aware of that. So take the pressure off, breathe, and know that it shall be so, okay? Yes, of course, you'll work towards things. You will get busy with the details of what you need to do in your life, whether they are humdrum details of, you know, paying bills, being in a repetitive cycle or routine, um, you know, whatever it is, you will just get it done. But know that everything happens for a reason. OK, and um, the predominant energy that I'm getting is um, things happen for us to learn. We are here as a physical body, having, a, you know, an, a human experience as a consciousness. But we are learning um, until we walk our way home. OK, the world card indicates that um, there is a lot of abundance. OK, you're attracting a lot of abundance. You're trying to find um, as you move through the new moon period, you're finding that fulfillment within. OK, so some of you, especially because we've got that Sagittarian uh, influence, you will actually uh, find yourself wanting to resurface, get out there, meet friends that you haven't seen for a while or even like take a course of learning or, you know, book an adventure, book travel. You will feel that energy rising up within you. Uh, of course, financially, I mean, this seems to be a very spiritual journey for you over the new moon period. I will check finances to see what's going on there. But I feel like there's this energy because you've got the world card as well. You're looking at the world and trying to raise your own vibration in order to sort of um, share it with others is what I'm getting because you see the emptiness in some of the world. But because you are a sign that is um, you see the light and the dark of all situations, I feel like you are trying to be the light by changing your vibration um, and raise your frequency. Uh, the world card energy, I feel like sometimes you cannot understand the way that the world is right now because you come from a place of love. So you're wondering how there can be such negative things in the world. Um, they're indicating here you taking a step back from watching very difficult um, news broadcasts and things like that over the new moon period because you're going to be extra sensitive and you absorb energy, my beautiful Scorpio. So I get this energy of you just taking a step back in order to protect your energy. I mean, you'll always find a way to find out what's going on in the news, of course. But if you submerge yourself uh, watching these things, then they can have an influence on um, your anxiety is what they're showing me here. But the world card indicates you're still on track to accomplish the goal that you have been focusing on. Now, a lot of you may be actually closing out projects that you've been working on for a while. But I definitely see if you have unfinished lessons, Maybe you've had a, a cycle or a pattern of people, you know, um, using you or, you know, um, thinking your kindness is a weakness, you know, or trying to give you all the work at work or 
use your energy in negative ways, whatever it is, you're closing that door. You've outgrown this energy. You've learned this lesson. The second house of value teaches you to empower yourself and know that you deserve better. You deserve more. Okay. And that's what you're getting. So I feel like the weight of the world on your shoulders as you move throughout the new moon period, suddenly you feel energetically charged, released. It feels lighter. Okay. That's how you're going to feel. Five of Cups, your guides are asking you, don't dwell on the things that did not work or are not working. Five of Cups is to embrace what the universe has in store for you because there's much better lined up. Okay. Five of Cups is a card of loss. Letting things, you know, that you feel like you've lost out on, let them go. Let them flow. They're not meant to be in your life for a reason, whether that is, because uh, I feel like you do a lot of self-sacrifice. Um, or should I say sacrifice? Yeah, I, I feel it is self-sacrifice. I feel like you give a lot of yourself to people who sometimes do not deserve it, or you give a lot of yourself to people who, um, when you need something, that they are not there in return, okay? And I feel like you've been noticing these things and taking a step back gradually, phasing yourself out of those people's lives, but I feel you're actually closing the door, okay? Now, the Five of Cups also, in darkness, you will find the light. Something special is being created here. Whatever it is you're working hard towards and you felt it has been a struggle, you're actually creating some sort of magic. You're defying, um, you're defying the energy. It will not keep you down. I just get this energy of you rising up regardless, okay? Um, I feel like recently you may have had a little bit lack of energy And, or some sort of disappointment and it's just made you feel defeated and lack of energy, know that actually you're closing out that cycle and things are going to get better. You're walking away from anything that's been difficult. Now, life is difficult in general, of course. We all have ups and downs, but I feel like an easier time is coming for you at the end of the month as we move throughout this time period, okay? But I feel like you're looking at losses as we uh, sort of approach the new moon or looking at areas where you feel you you gave your power away or you played small, okay? Because that's in the past. That's the past you that had some sort of influence or you felt you could not find your voice in a situation. That's that's over, okay? Now it's like, now is the time of empowerment, success, reaching your goals and making your mark. It's almost like, well, I, I guess, you know, they always say the phoenix rising from the ashes for Scorpio. That's what I see because the protagonist energy, something's been a struggle. Something's been very, very difficult for you. And then it's like, watch you rise and thrive and sort of leave everything else behind. Now, we've also got the book here. So it indicates you have been learning a lot of lessons. Um, you came to this lifetime with a lot of knowledge, okay? But you are here to discover more. Uh, you are someone, uh, my beautiful Scorpio, who is deeply private. Um, some would say secretive. I would say, you know, if someone tells you a secret, you're really good at keeping it. You will never utter that secret because you made a promise. You're the sort of person who does not um, sort of give away people's information unless you feel it's a threat to yourself. Okay, that's that's what I'm getting there. But even then, if you think about the nature of a scorpion, they tend to sting themselves rather than anyone have any power over them. So I feel, I feel like you're liberating if anyone tried to control you or had any power over you. I feel like you're, you're liberating that energy, okay? Uh, now, of course, number 26, when you reduce it, 2 plus 6 is 8, the number of the self. So they're indicating um, that during this period, there was a lesson that you hadn't learnt fully and they keep coming back to value, okay? Um, and this idea of, you know, you're, I don't want to repeat myself, of course, but it's come up again, so I'm just going to briefly mention it there. I feel like you're closing out that cycle. Um, now, you will go through a period, my beautiful Scorpio, of finding out that you were right about something that was hidden or not readily available in terms of facts or knowledge, something you knew intuitively. And this is why your guides want you to be aware of your innate power over the new moon period. Something you knew deep down from a instinctive or intuition point of view, it comes to light that you were right. Okay. Your guides are really proud of you for 
Acting accordingly is what they're saying. So I don't know what that means for you, but they're saying acting accordingly. Your luck is about to change is what they're showing me. A lot of you may feel compelled to do some deep learning, uh, whether it's um, spiritual, whether it is uh, learning more about the self, because I see a lot of self-reflection going on in this uh, new moon period for you. And it's a deep period or cycle of growth for you. Now, if you felt like your manifestation skills were off or you felt very scattered in your energy or just disconnected from who you normally are, um, I get this power up. You're stepping into your power as you move throughout the new moon period. Yes, you're going to feel a little bit more sensitive than usual and there may be a few mood swings. I'm not gonna lie to you, my beautiful Scorpio. When we go through transition periods, which is what you're, you're happening here uh, in your protagonist energy, it's happening for you, I feel like um, you may feel a little bit fluctuating in emotions. So just notice it, okay? But it's actually recharging you. They want you to have more talent, uh, sorry, more uh, confidence in your talent and your skills. Believe in yourself, believe and receive. This is something that they want you to have as your mantra, even write it down. I mean, they've been giving this to me, myself, for the last month. So I've been writing it, believe and receive, in some of the videos that I've been putting up there. Um, but they want it, they want you to have that as your mantra, believe and receive, believe it because it shall be so. If you believe it, it's already happened and it will be sort of showing up in your future. They want you to see it in your mind's eye like you have it. Not that it's something that you're going to achieve way over there. Imagine yourself like a movie in your mind of you living the lifestyle that you want, living the love that you want, living the dream that you want and it shall be so. Because when you are visualizing it, it is, it's almost like a, a blueprint to the universe of what is to come. Okay. Um, also, the Magician card, you may have felt that you've not been reaching your full potential in either love relationships or career or in personal development. There always seems to be something to learn, something to move forward to. And you may have felt very scattered about what to focus on. So you may have been very busy, had a lot of responsibilities and felt very frazzled in your energy because you've had a lot going on. I feel as you move through this no, uh, new moon period, you start to become a little bit more focused, okay? And you're going to take the initiative on some new ideas that you've been worried about, worried that they wouldn't work out or worried what people would think about them or worried that now is not time, uh, sorry, now is not the right time, but they're indicating that now is the right time. A lot of you may be doing a lot of research for this idea or this new opportunity. So you may actually bury your head in books or I feel more you may actually, um, cause they'll give me this thing where it's like, oh, you could do some research online by watching videos and things like that, but they're just giving me this energy. Nothing feels as good as a book feels like when you're holding the book and turning the pages. Now that's an energy that's coming up. So perhaps that's your energy I'm tapping into. But the magician card indicates you are so gifted you came to this lifetime with the gift of knowledge, the gift of power, and the gift of knowingness, the gift of seeing beyond uh, people's words, the gift of seeing the subtext, the, the depth behind people. So a lot of you may be actually thinking about going into um, professions where you help others or you understand others, psychologists, um, counselors, things like that. This may be something, um, even they've just given me like, like forensic scientists and things like that. Something, research, where you do a lot of digging for information because you're really good at that. You are a natural investigator. Um, and this may be something that will arise over the new moon period as well. You're really good at reading people's body language. You're so good at it. Even if they have like a little twitch in their eye, you instinctively go, I can see that. That person's not being truthful or they're trying to think too hard or they have feelings for me and they're trying to mask those feelings. You're really good at seeing the good, the bad and the ugly in people. Your guys want you to be aware. Whilst that is a blessing, it can sometimes be a curse, which means it makes you feel like you can't trust everybody and it makes you keep people at a distance. So sometimes you may feel a little bit lonely or a little bit misunderstood because you feel so deep. They want you to be aware, approach situations by trusting your intuition first and foremost. Keep that wonderful heart, don't let it get hardened, okay? But there's some sort of obstacle that you've been sort of 
wrestling with. It may be your true north or your true prosperity path, your calling. And I feel like you're going to get back on track. Lots of wonderful ideas coming through. Ace of Wands indicates a powerful transformation. Something within you is changing and you can feel it, Scorpio. You can feel it rising up. You can feel the energy. Now, this will be a very creative phase for you. So if you've been normally someone who's very creative and it's kind of dwindled or you felt like you were unmotivated or you just didn't have the drive, suddenly you become very inspired over the new moon period, okay? Lots of new ideas, lots of energy are going to move forward. Uh, major transformation. This is also a card of seeking an adventure, making your dreams become reality. Imagine something new and daring because you may have felt like you've been stuck in a rut. You may have felt very scattered in your energy, like not that you've been coasting, but you felt very sort of like uncertain about the path and the meaningfulness of things and life. Because I feel it's very philosophical energy I've got coming through. But you're going to burst through from the new moon energy going forward, inspired and have unlimited potential for transformation to fix things in your life. We've even got a screwdriver there. I feel like you're fixing things. You're being really productive. You've suddenly got a flow of energy. If you've been feeling unwell or you, you know, recently, or if you've had some sort of operation or um, procedure there, I feel like you're taking the time that is necessary to be off grid, convalesce, and then come back to your day to day. And I feel like you're going to come back in a big way, like take, take your world by storm, make your mark. Uh, the hangman indicates that you've been getting, you've been feeling that you've been like in limbo a little bit. There may be a feeling here that you've missed some opportunities in your life, but they want you to be reminded that what is meant for you will never pass you by. Okay. If it's meant to come back around again, it will. If it's not meant to be in your life, it will leave. So the hangman also indicates you're really good, really fair at seeing things from other perspectives, but they're indicating this is a card of self-sacrifice, okay? And they want you to be aware that whilst you're always sacrificing your energy for other people, and that is wonderful, that's a wonderful friend, you're a really good friend, you're very loyal, uh, your family is your rock, you do anything for your family and your soul tribe, remember to have time for you. Okay, they want you to be aware. Remember to have time to kick back, pause, relax, and have time for you. Now, we've also got the bear energy. Now, um, the bear energy is a very important energy. I did a card for the day the other day uh, for you all, and the bear spirit came out as well, and that was power, okay? You are indestructible. This is leadership. This is boss energy. This is strength, okay? This is also stability. So, uh, and it indicates that, you know, you are protected in your endeavors. They're also indicating protect yourself against any negative or toxic energy um, by just knowing your values straight away. But also you could uh, get a tourmaline, black tourmaline or a black obsidian that helps you with um, naturally protecting your energetic and psychic field. So just so you're aware. But the bear energy, I mean, you've got 1010 10 here. Now they give me 12, 12 for you in the water. And they're also giving me something else, which I will give you in a moment. But as you can see, you're starting to have numerical synchronicity. There's a little 10 right there at the bottom and another one right there. So 10, 10, numerical synchronicity. Number 10 is wheel of fortune energy, which connects to Jupiter. So as Jupiter turns and goes direct, you're actually getting better fortune, better opportunity. You're going to feel better about yourself, more energized. Things just get easier and you feel more enlightened and lighter in your energy. You may have been feeling that you have had a lot of responsibility, but the outcome is going to be worth it. Some of you may be setting up your own business or you are an entrepreneur and you've already got your own business. And even if you've been feeling scattered or that there's been so much to do, so much responsibility, you're taking charge, okay? This is a card of taking charge. Also the bear energy. There may be someone in your life who has tried to control you, but I feel like you're walking away. You're freeing yourself up from that because I actually see yourself freeing yourself up from control in general. So even if it's a memory that has been controlling how you feel about your self-worth or how, um, you know, that one time you let that opportunity go or how you connected to a person who broke your heart, all those situations that have left you either in analysis paralysis or damage your confidence. I feel like you're letting those things go and you're being the best version of yourself. Okay. 
we got the full card which is a release of all that pressure you know the world on your shoulders number 21 the end of the journey you're embracing something new with the full card you are taking a leap of faith on a new adventure this is new energy all these doors opening up for you uh, meeting new people this is also a card to remind you to have fun my beautiful Scorpio because sometimes when we've got a lot of responsibility or a lot of sort of routines that we have to do you know repetitive cycles you know we got to go to work we got to make sure we're paying the bills we got to make sure we um look after our family all of those responsibilities sometimes it may feel like you've got no time for fun but as we're closing out the month you're actually going to feel energized and remember your childlike spirit and you start opening to, up to that fun again also this card i get you sort of reaching your full potential, having faith that the universe has your back to launch something. So some of you could be launching a new business idea or a project. I mean, it could be a project as in DIY, because right now they're showing me someone painting, um, you know, a wall. I mean, some of you could be an artist and doing a mural. It doesn't have to be DIY painting, but I feel whatever it is that you've been meaning to get started on, the new moon gives you that drive, that energy to do it, okay? Um, now the full card indicates ripple effect is in play in your life. So you're taking the first step towards something. I get this energy, the first step towards freedom, but also to a playful heart, new adventures and independence. They're giving me strong independence energy here as well. Okay. A new journey is opening up and also it's about embracing what the universe has in store, knowing that you can trust in the unknown. And sometimes it works out better than you expected. Now they're actually showing me, me in the water, um, at, at a time in my life where um, I really just opened myself up to the universe. Um, I'd lost my job, I'd pretty much uh, lost everything. And I said to the universe, okay, whatever is coming my way, I will accept. And I am grateful for the opportunity. And I kid you not, Scorpio, everything that I had been struggling to achieve, for many years just started showing up for me because I said to the universe I trust that it will be so I trust whatever you have for me is meant for me and you know it literally was you know one person would come into my life I at the time I thought by accident wow I've just met this person they're great there's someone that can really help me move forward on a career path that I want. And then that person invited me to another event where I met another person who could help me with my career and introduced me to someone um, who was a divine counterpart. Um, so sometimes open up yourself to the universe. Know that you're protected. Embrace new journeys. Um, now, we've also got the Eight of Cups walking away from anything that is unfulfilling. Now they were showing me something in the water there. It's unconnected to your reading, so I thought I'd pause it, but uh, I'll give it to you because they're showing it to me. You're going to find money, okay? You're going to find money this month. So it can that can mean that you're going to find money on the floor, on the sidewalk, or find money that you have that you were not aware you had. Money, because they're showing me money that is lost is found, is what they're showing me. So look out for that. It could be that you find $20 or pounds or yen or whatever it is um, in your pocket or on the sidewalk. Or they're just showing me that you're going to find money that was lost and is now found. So either that's you lost that money and it's found or someone has lost the money and you find it. Okay, so that's what they're showing me. So watch out for that. But the Eight of Cups indicates the new moon is going to have an influence where you go on a real spiritual journey quest. Okay, deep diving journey of self-discovery. And the Eight of Cups indicates walking away from anything that's not emotionally fulfilling. Nothing, you know, I get this energy of you sort of retreating from situations that have just fallen apart and not been right for you. And you're okay to let those things go. Also, this is a card of abandonment. So I want to pull a quick card on that because I don't feel like you're abandoning your responsibilities. I don't feel that at all. Let's just pop that, put that there. Um, I don't feel like you're abandoning your responsibilities. But what I do feel is that you're opening yourself up to a little bit more fun and realizing that you don't have to always be the responsible one. The devil card. And the Ten of Cups, well, that's a high one. Toxic unions. You're walking away from any relationships that are toxic and in favor of being more 
emotionally rewarded and fulfilling. So the devil card is to identify blockages, let go of things that are not good for you. You know, whether it's fear, whether it's, you know, things that have really triggered your shadow self. I mean, we have to look at our shadow self, of course. We must look at the, the, the dark to see the light. Uh, but if we do it in order to process and let go of it. The devil card is about doubt. It can be about addictions. Uh, Ten of Cups is like getting, I mean, there's, this is the second time a rainbow has shown up in your reading. My guides are really pointing at the rainbow. So I feel rainbows will also be something as a symbol that you will see over the next four to five weeks, okay? Uh, the Ten of Cups indicates complete fulfillment in family matters, if you've been going through struggling times with toxic family members, I feel like there are better times ahead. If you're looking for more abundance in your life, there is more of that coming. But this period through the new moon was to identify blockages or identify areas where you sort of allow people to underestimate you or allow people to take your power. Okay, that's what they keep giving me. Now... The Herald of Cups is to welcome something better and more fulfilling in. The Herald of Cups, heralds bring news, okay? So I definitely see some really good news headed your way. And it is something that is going to make your heart really happy. Something that you've been wishing for for a while. Because the Herald of Cups connects to the Page of Cups, which is like a wish. You know, a dreamer. Uh, being enthusiastic about something. Suddenly it shows up. The vision shows up, okay? So this is also about finding your purpose, Page of Cups can connect to the heart space of, you know, you attracting your true north. So I feel like you're going to have relationships that are more in re re uh, repress. Oh, gosh, I can't say it. reciprocity. Um, where there's more balance, people are going to show you how much they appreciate you. But the Herald of Cups starts with the cup of love for self first. So it's about loving yourself having value for yourself and attracting those people in situations who can see that value in you also. Okay. But this, they'll show me this is purpose, but definitely news headed your way because uh, this is a messenger. Okay. Trumpeting news. Now this could be the arrival of new love, for example, or the arrival of um, a romantic connection could also be that um, you are connecting to things like volunteer work you're giving your love and therefore the universe is sending you like a boomerang uh, love and reward right back to you because i feel there's a lot of completion success celebration and things coming full circle for you um, as you tie up loose ends and tie up the past okay um now i'm just going to go and get any final messages from your guides thank you so much for i am going to do um a quick card to see Uh, they want one more as well. Um, I'm going to do a quick card before I read these ones. I'm going to do a quick card on your finances because this tends, this period is looking like more of a spiritual, okay, a spiritual journey for you. Of course, finances matter, but um, can you show me the finances? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so stability, financial stability, the ability to save and be conservative with your finances. I feel like for this new moon, which, you know, the period only, the energy lasts for about a week and a half after the new moon effect. Um, I feel like you're just conserving the money that you've worked really hard for. Okay, I feel like your money is at a level. It's at a plateau. I mean, doesn't mean you're not attracting more um, financial reward after Jupiter turns direct, but I feel for the new moon, I feel like you are being discerning about the money that you spend, being able to save a little bit more. You may be watching your pennies or in your dollars and your, your finances in order to cut back in some areas just to make sure that you're secure. If this is an indication of controlling your finances or, um, you know, This is a card of not taking risks with your finances, shall we say. This is a card of being really clever with your finances and just um, having enough and saving a little, okay? So that's what I'm getting with that. Um, now, your final messages, we've got, don't be afraid to cry. It will free your mind of sorrowful thoughts. All that built up pressure that I was feeling right at the beginning there, it's okay to cry, let it out. You know, sometimes I'll go for many, many uh, months you know, there was one joke, well, it wasn't a joke really, but there was one year where I was like, 
actually, I didn't cry once and I wanted to, believe me, I had so much going on, so much pressure, so much responsibility, anxiety, you know, but I had to be strong for other people. I had to keep it all together and it's tough to be strong, but it's also, you know, even more strength when you just allow it to just release. Okay, um, that pressure, that first cry after that period, I cried in the bathtub for like nearly an hour um, and the pressure release was incredible and I felt amazing after it. Okay, so sometimes, you know, it, it's a natural human trait for us to cry. It is an ability that we have built in that allows us to release pressure in our body and cleanse. Tears are salt, they're saline, so they are cleansing. So remember, sometimes we just got to let it just release. Okay. Um, also, we've got the snake. Now, the snake typically is, you know, a rebirth of energy. It's about shedding skin, but it can also represent someone who doesn't really have your best intentions. Toxic situations, for example. It says the snake. Beware of hidden snakes that pretend to be harmless. Those are the people that say, I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't mean to do this. Oh, why are you being mean? Why are you being mean to me? You know, why are you, why are you turning it back on me? This sort of behavior is, you, you think, okay, they didn't do it on purpose, but actually there may be something underneath. So, I mean, of course people make mistakes. And if they're like, I didn't mean it, of course, I'm so sorry. And they never repeat the cycle because they've learned then that's a person who really did not mean to hurt you. Uh, but if it keeps repeating, uh, be mindful. It says secret enemies, rival, fake friends. So, I mean, I feel like we've already covered that. You're closing the door to that for sure, okay? It says waiting. Whilst you're waiting, ask yourself, is it worth waiting for? Expectation, hopeful, delay, stagnation. So the waiting period, you've got the hangman there. It's giving you an opportunity to really refocus your energy and ask yourself, is it fulfilling? Is it going to be helpful on my soul mission, my soul path? And if the answer is no, then release it. It's just another less thing that you need to um, distract you from your true intention or your true path. So a uh, very important uh, message there. And we've got climb the ladder. You're climbing the ladder one success once. I'll start again. You're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time. Promotion, more success, improvement, raise. So you're definitely leveling up. You're definitely moving in the right direction in your life, my beautiful Scorpio. But I feel like this new moon for you is a major period of personal development and growth where you're ready to take on the world again and rise up. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What else do they need to know? Can you please guide them? Right now in the water, they show me a wolf. Okay, I just want you to be aware. Uh, and a wolf is a pathfinder. So if you were feeling a little bit confused, know that you will find answers to the questions you seek during this period as well. Uh, we've got hummingbird, miracles. Okay, now hummingbirds, they work super hard. Those wings go a mile a minute, but it looks graceful. It looks effortless. And I feel that's something that you also portray in your life. It says, you are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. So as I said, I was picking up this energy about the world, trying to raise your vibrations, trying to share your love, your care, your devotion with other people in order to make a, a shift in your world. Because everybody, if they make a small shift in their little part of the world, if everybody did it, then that's a lot of parts of the world that are making a shift towards, uh, you know, raising our level of consciousness, but also raising vibrations. Uh, really odd. They want me to go again. I would, this is long enough. I was expecting this was a short bonus reading, but they want me to go again. So I will. We've got links keeper of secrets. We've also mentioned that in your reading. It says here, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Now that definitely showed up in your reading for this new moon. This is something that you exhibit anyway, my beautiful Scorpio, but I feel it will be extra intense as we move throughout this new moon period. I mean, someone may even give you a secret to keep and you will um, do some really deep thinking on that as well. Uh, I'm just gonna go and get a trinket before we close. The key, the world is the key because this is a world card key. Okay, it indicates closing cycles, embracing new, accomplishing the, the goals that you've got in mind to accomplish. Uh, there's going to be, I mean, you're going to unlock doors. Okay, um, now 
The key is also, it connects to answers being given to, um, or revelations, sudden realizations, breakthroughs. If you've had a major question on your mind and you want to find a solution to it, if it can be a yes or no answer, this key normally connects to the word yes. Okay. Um, but the key is about unlocking abundance. It's about fate taking over to help you find a solution and good karma coming through. Okay. Um, the doors are opening. Yeah, they just keep giving me the energy of breakthrough. So I'll leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you, my beautiful Scorpio. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important to me too. Okay, thank you so much and love and light.